Right. By the way. See you back. Um... Yes! It looks like they're growing quite nicely. I'm amazed at how robust they are. The ladybug has grown into a fine adult as well. Does this mean our mission is complete? That's a job well done. I did my best to do everything in my power. I'm happy I was able to assist. Oh, and we can't forget to thank the Ladybug for contributing as well. As I've tended these plants alongside you, I've realized something. I've made so many new discoveries beside these planters. Everyone is doing the best they can to make their way in the world. That goes for the plants, the pests, and the ladybug too, and you as well. I may be a machine, but I also want to do the best I can. I'll give it my all to make my way in the world, just like everyone else. Do you think I'll be able to? I'm not going to act on my own anymore. I just want to do a little bit to protect everyone's futures. Of course, I don't plan on sacrificing my attention here either. Okay, it's time to get started. I think we did another thorough job today. Shall we head back now?
Well, I...
Thank you very much. I like this place. I can see the entire town from here. The Moonlight Bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? Back in Yakushima, where I'd been sleeping, the ocean waters were much clearer than they are here. But I prefer the view here. Hmm. Before I came here, I didn't even think about whether I liked the scenery or not. What about you? Do you like it here? I'm so glad to hear that. <sighs> Feeling the same way? Watching the same scenery? It's nice. I began to feel emotions towards various things that I hadn't felt before. It's a little scary sometimes. <sighs> but if I can change by being with you, then I want to cherish these feelings. for so long. It's still January, so the winds can get quite chilly up here. It would be awful if you caught a cold. Oh, there you are. We're all going to Hagakure. Wanna come? easy. Sonata-san's buying today. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? Ah, you probably forgot all about it by now. Well, you won in the end, even if it was ice. But whatever, Sonata-san still lost, right? <laughs> even if it took me like six months to make him admit it. Come on, everyone else already left. We got a jet. Everyone's okay with the special, right? Okay, five specials, please. <laughs> Man, this is awesome! Sonata Sans never treated us all to ramen before. I'll accept that I lost. Why do I have to treat all of you? You're still going on about that? Come on, Sonata San, a bet's a bet. You gotta pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong? I guess you doubted me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on the counter? The headline caught my attention. What magazine? This one, Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Oh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Huh. Hmm? Hey, look at this photo. Check out their so-called messiah. What the? Is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, it's Strega after all. I just lost my appetite. Listen. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is known as Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. When Nyx arrives, there will be no more pain, no more suffering. Humanity shall be freed. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, 
He's saying that Nyx will save the world? But that's a lie. I don't think that even matters. This is all just a game to him. That bastard. But there are those who do not understand the truth. Even though they have also been granted her blessing, they have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Shh, not so loud. We're not the only ones here, you know. And what do they mean by the charismatic one? Why is he suddenly a celebrity? Well, apparently Jin was already pretty well known on the internet. He's probably good at influencing public perception. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame by building his brand like a celeb. Ugh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is upon us, my brethren. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Perhaps the power of an exceptionally charismatic individual is the only way to change this nebulous future. That's the end of the article. It appears Strega disappeared again after the interview. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. <laughs> They're just wasting everyone's time. Still, it seems they've managed to shift the atmosphere of the entire city. Even if they don't say it out loud, people must be scared inside. Yeah, they probably are. Why else would anyone believe this nonsense? It's not normal. Believing what you hear is a choice. There's no real way for them to know what's true. Well, oh, no wonder it feels like the world's ending. We're all gonna die. But is that so unusual? All life will eventually come to an end. Does Nyx's involvement change that in some way? Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? Yes. Tell you the truth? I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this happened. But we're already here, so why don't we just leave it at that? Our target is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll deal with them too. That's all there is to it. Agreed. We'll probably run into them in Tartarus anyway. No matter how you look at it, they want us out of the picture. Promise day's almost here, huh? Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. All right. And first things first, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat. Excuse me! I'll add a hog of Kure bow to the list. You don't mind, right, sonata -san? Whoa, Junpei, didn't you say you were eating half of Igus's food too? <laughs> don't worry, I'm starving. You better eat it all. There's a possibility. Is that? Stop messing around! Um...
that's right, but... me. This could be dangerous. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? 
Koromaro-san? You think we what? Wait, we aren't mistreating Koromaro-san. It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but... What? No. Oh, um... These are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. Please, don't be angry. Just calm down. Uh. Uh, I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it that I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. <sighs> but... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. to give myself a makeover. I need a new image. Maybe I should triple my current height so I can look down on my enemies. Or maybe I can add spikes to my shoulders or carve a giant dragon onto my back. convinced me 
This is what I need to do if I want people to think I'm strong and reliable. Outer appearances carry an unimaginable amount of influence. The main character of this story also put a lot of effort into looks, so people would take him seriously. That's why I wanted to change my image, too. If I want people to think I'm strong, I need to look the part. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion as our leader. What? You mean there's something else that's more important? Oh, could it be... I'm sorry. It looks like I've had the wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, can't have people think I ain't cool. Up until then, he'd cared so much about his image, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. I finally understood what he really meant after hearing what you said. The most important thing is to hold true to your beliefs no matter what. I'm going to hold true to my beliefs as well. I may not look reliable, but I will make up for that with attitude. I'm going to operate at maximum output so that I can be useful to everyone. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Maybe we can organize a raid. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. That's unfortunate. I suppose I'll just go back to my room for tonight. trouble you for a moment. Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one? I've been so worried. I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. A white spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. phrase 
usually used in situations like these. What goes around, comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it! She might be so hungry, she could eat a house. Or was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. trace of her. I can detect hostile readings like shadows. But when it comes to this, I'm useless, aren't I? And I was the one who insisted we search. I'm sorry. It's not working out. After all, how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? <sighs> it's getting dark. We should probably give up the search for today. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too. I see you back. Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Yes, exactly. Says 
no plan catch in the park. Kind of messed up, don't you think? Plan catch is how kids are supposed to make friends. Adults can't just ban it because they feel like it. Right? I don't like this one bit. In any case, I didn't know it was banned here till today. When I first moved here, I play against the wall every now and then. This whole catch thing. It's because I wanted to get my arms back in shape. I've been thinking about maybe getting back into baseball again. I still have no clue what I want to do with my life. And if I keep trying to avoid it, I'll have nothing but regret hanging over me. Next time I'm asked what I'll be doing in two years, I want to have a real answer. That's why I'm picking baseball back up. You, uh, think that's the right call? Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, that makes me feel pretty good about it, then. Anyway, here. This is for you. Today was a bust, but we'll try again another time. Hang on to that till then. Though, I guess we'll have to wait till after you know what, huh? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I've been feeling like this since April. I can barely juggle what I've got on my plate as it is. I'm alone, think about the future. They're senpais, though. They're such badasses. They're still prepping for exams, even with everything going on. Man, it's been a hell of a year. We're gonna look back on all this someday and wonder how we ever got through any of it. And it wasn't all good. And we hit more than a few rough patches. I guess you could say our short lives have been pretty wild so far, huh? <laughs> right? Despite all that's happened, I'm glad you became our leader. I know I said you should do what you want to do. Thanks for choosing to fight. Well then. Let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy note. All right? And then, Hollywood will turn our adventure into a movie. I'd be the lead, obviously. Dude, you'd be a shoe-in for best supporting actor. <laughs> that serious crap ain't our style, is it? Come on, let's head home. We'll figure out how to sweep the Oscars on the way. Welcome back. Um, excuse me. Seriously? Um, about that. <laughs> wow, that was so good. And the main character was cool and in control until the very end. Last line he exchanged with the casino's boss gave me goosebumps. And how about that part when he was all, count to five? <laughs> I 
I hope I can be like him when I'm an adult. What do you think it takes for a guy to be hard-boiled? That's true. You can't really be hard-boiled if you're quick-tempered. You have to keep calm and never let the enemy get under your skin. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy, just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> When I hear you say it, I really feel like it's possible. Oh boy, look at the time. But I still want to talk about the movie. Wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? Hell, I'm prepared to be. for the gyoza filling. I thought it might be nice to add some texture, so I made sure there's plenty of vegetables mixed in. I'm a little worried, but I wanted to give it a try. We went by the book for the seasoning, so it shouldn't turn out too different. Next, we have to put the filling in the wrappers. Where is she? Sorry I'm late. It was a long day of practice. Oh, have you gotten pretty far already? Welcome back. We were just starting on the wrappers. I invited Yukari-chan to join us. We were talking about cooking the other day, and she seemed really interested. 
I mean, you almost never invite me to something like this, Fuka. So I was happy when you did. Have you changed recently, or is it just me? Have I? In what way? You just seem more at ease now. Or maybe it's more confidence. Don't you think so? Yeah, see? That's what I thought. Really? Well, I'm glad if that's the case. He's been helping me a lot recently, and been really supportive of me. So I think maybe that's why. I see. You haven't been making moves on Fuka, have you? Uh, no, it's not like that. He was just helping me as a friend. That's all, really. Well, I trust Fuka, so I guess you're in the clear. But if you weren't, you'd be eating my fist. <laughs> oh, the gyoza wrappers are going to dry out. Let's start wrapping, shall we? Yukari-chan? And the flavor and texture are perfect. I think this is the best gyoza I've ever had. There's plenty more white rice if you want, too. Oh, I would, but... Sorry, I actually gotta get going. I've gotta clean my archery uniform before tomorrow. Oh, you can leave my dishes. I'll clean them when I get back. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Besides, We'll save on water if we do them all at once. <sighs> Sorry about this. I'll make sure I can stick around till the end next time. But thanks for having me. <laughs> Did you notice she said next time? I was a little nervous at first. But I'm glad I challenged myself. Oh, and that reminds me. I have something I wanted to give you. You're always listening to music, so I thought you might like these. And I think you were a fan of this design, so I tried to match it. Remember how I told you I was pretty good with machines? Well, how are they? <laughs> pretty cool, right? Just kidding. Actually, I've decided I want to become more accepting of myself. I want to be able to say I'm proud of who I am. And I think this is the first step to reaching that goal. I'm going to be more confident in the things I'm good at. I hope you're happy with them. I am Thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the High Priestess Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the High Priestess within thyself. either. I'll embrace the things I'm good at, but also find more things I can do. I'm going to change, one step at a time. Oh, if there's anything you decide you want to try doing, just let me know. I'll always be here to help. Oh, right. 
Precious, luxurious veggies. Man, all this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs. It's pretty monotonous. Kind of just feels like busy work. Like a what? What the hell does that even mean? But, uh, maybe you have a point. You gotta treat it with love and kindness. Sound about right, oh wise one? Gotta say, you've got a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place. So I gotta be the one to look after. Da -da -da -da! The veggies have leveled up. Another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs. Bye. 